Hey, Vision Miner here. We're going to show you how to use hairspray tried and true technique that people love. Um, and it does work. I think that the biggest issue is probably that it's real sticky. And <laughs> you have a lot of really delicate internal components with your machine. Number one, crucial, you are going to want to take your build plate out of your printer every single time. It can be a pain. It can but, be a pain, you know, but do not do this inside easy. of your printer. Don't, Watch out. Don't spray it inside your printer. Oh God. However you want to Just do get it. get a nice even coat all over the thing. Wait. Let it dry. Sometimes you want to do multiple layers. Uh, and this will work for PLA, PETG, um, a lot of other materials too, uh, to a certain extent. Uh, it works great. They're super cheap at the dollar store, you know? So if you need something and you're not getting your plates to stick, you want to run downtown, go to the dollar store, grab a thing of hairspray. Most of them work. Uh, different kinds are different, but you know. I just cannot tell you how harmful over time these this can be to the internal components of your printer. Um, not permanently, you just would have to go and clean them out. Clean out, re-grease, re-oil. Right. So, you know, just make sure you get a couple coats or you can do a couple coats. Just make sure it's nice and evenly coated yeah, even in there. Is crucial. Don't Thanks. breathe it in. It's not good. As for cleaning. Oh, it should be some water, hair in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, got and now, now it's not, not quite as thick. Uh, use water good. under, you can just put Windex. Windex. Water. Hot water. Spray simple. It. Easy. Tip down. Right. Here are your options. You just wipe it off. I like to use paper towels first to get all the nasty residue because it gets really sticky. And then you can use a uh, microfiber towel afterwards just to do the final, you know, go over. Uh, and then you always want to clean in the end with isopropyl alcohol always. so that whatever else you're putting down next uh, has a totally clean, sterile surface. Difference here. between cleaning your plate and prepping your plate. You can clean it with whatever you want, Windex water, you need to too. prep. Yeah, that's that's a thing. This is messy. Oh. You need to prep your plate for whatever you put on next. But please do that as well, and do not do it inside your printer. You right. can do. You can use the alcohol inside your printer. Yeah, that's actually off. really good. You can clean your um, axes and all that. But. but yeah. So overview works great. Works well. People love it. Take your build plate out of your printer. It is very hard mm. on the internals, um, and it's it is messy. Cheap. It's very cheap. It's a very good option. Um, it, it'll work multiple times too, like for a lot of different prints. Um, you can anyway, you might have to reapply occasionally. Uh, if you want something that's always gonna work, it's gonna work a huge percentage of the time. We just use our nanopolymer adhesive. It's quick, it's easy, like that. Draw a smiley face, whatever you want. Just apply it in the area of your build plate. Brush it on real quick. That's it. Get a nice little coating and you're done. We include this acid brush and all that. This works great. You can use it a ton of times for most materials. Pick out the link. We'll send you a free sample. It makes life a lot easier and it works really well. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions for us, you know, leave them in the comments below. Uh, shoot us an email or give us a phone call. We're here in uh, sunny Southern California and we love talking to you guys with all your ideas and all your prints and your crazy projects. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and see you on the next video.